All right, let's take a look at example problem number one. So we've got Giselle would like to replace the carpet in her living room. She's an imperial tape measure, of course, because lots of people have imperial tape measures just kicking around, to measure room, and the dimensions were 12 feet by 15 feet. So let's highlight that. She went to the carpet store. She saw the price of the carpet was $24.99 per square meter, taxes included. She cannot order less than a full square meter of carpet. So she can't order like, you know, 5.5. She has to order 5 or 6 or 7. The questions were asked to, how much carpet should she order? And the second question that we're asked to, how much will the carpet cost? Okay, so we've got our information. We know the questions that we're trying to answer. Now, let's start to understand the question. Okay, so she's got a room. It is 12 feet by 15 feet. Now, we need everything to be in square meters, but this is in feet. We need to convert first. We have linear measurement conversion. So we're going to convert from feet into meters. We're going to change these feet into meters. All right, so I need my conversion tables out so I can see what I am doing. Um, I, ah, right here. So I'm going to ask this question first. How many, I'm going to use the variable instead of the question mark. How many meters are there in 12 feet if um, there is 0 0.3048 meters in one foot? That's my conversion. So I just do 12 times 0 0.3048, and I get 3.6576 meters. So this becomes... 3.6576 meters. That's my first conversion. Now, my second conversion. How many meters are in 15 feet? If there is 0 0.3048 meters in one foot. Again, so I'm just going to do 15 times 0 0.3048 divided by 1, which just doesn't change it, 4.572. So this becomes 4.572 meters. Okay, now I know meters. Now the next thing I need to do is, now that I know how many meters wide and how many meters long the room is, I need to find out the area. So I write out my formula. Area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. There's three variables in this. I need to know two of them. So area is equal to 4.572 meters times 3.6576 meters. Now, um, in the middle of the question, I don't like to round completely. I just like to leave it leave a few decimal places at the end, a little more precise than I need it. So I'm going to take my five, 4.572 and I'm going to times that by 3.6576 and I get 16.72 square meters. Now, she can't order a decimal value. So we always want to order a little bit more, so the, our answer to letter A is she should order 17 square meters of carpet. All right, now, again, if you're actually doing this for a house, you might want to have a little bit higher um, error budget. So you might order 20 square meters just to make sure that you have enough. Um, if you have a lot of experience with carpeting, you'll know how much extra that you should buy. So that's part A. Part B, how much should, will the carpet cost? Well, we're getting 17 square meters, and that is $24.99 per square meter. So we just multiply those two numbers together. 
because she's ordering 17 whole square meters times 24.99, So the carpet will cost $424.83 since the tax is included. This is the work that I would like to see from you. When you read the question, identify the information that you're given in the question. Look for the quest questions being asked. Draw a picture. Convert first. Then do your areas. Make sure you answer your question. All right, that's example.